And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Tampa Bay Rays squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and starting this one. Chris Sale, what do you look for here? Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but Ladies then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. You got to make sure you elevate him, get him out Number over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. Diaz in the box now, no balls and a strike. Hey, now we got two. That one the other way. He's got it. And that is out number three. They bring nine to the plate and six come around to score. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rays six and the Red Sox nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Manuel Margot. Tampa Bay. The right fielder, number 13. On the ground right side. He steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brunanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed hey, breaking ball. And the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Here comes the pitch. The punch out there, out number two. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And a count one and two. Here we go, boys. The wind to kick the pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Now. The wind of the pitch. We got a full count. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays 6 and the Red Sox nothing. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And now the catcher comes up to him. Mike Zunino. The catcher. Mike. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Kicks and fires. 
That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. The batter, number five. So the lineup flips over, and the batter will be the shortstop, Wander Franco. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by him. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Now that second base. And now Brandon Lau, one for three. In there, and it's 0-1. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. No one out now, no one out. And here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. And there's one down. The back. The first baseman. Harold Ramirez at the dish. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch is inside, and the count is 1 and 1. At the belt and fires. That one the other way. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Now that the designated hitter, Randy Orozarena. Now it's Randy Orozarena. Oh, we got a hold of him right here. In there for strike one. Zunino on second. Franco on at first with two down. On the ground. Casas takes it to the bag, and that is that. So the Rays strand a pair, but they still lead it 6 3. All set for the start of the inning. Yandy Diaz now. Hill back to work. The third baseman, number two. And that one fouled off. Now the 01. Popped up right side. I got it. Puts the squeeze on that one. One down. The right fielder, number 13, Manuel Margot. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Hey, come on, guys. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez racing over to make the catch. Left here, David Peralta. David Peralta at the play. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. Out towards right center field. I got it, I got Verdugo it. makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rays go in order. One, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 6-3 lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's a speed threat. Kevin Kiermaier. The center fielder. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. pitch 
strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Mike Zanino. Swings through that one. 0-1. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball now get bad. by a hitter for the we'll strikeout, go. especially when it's in a very hittable oh, location bro. like that. Makes me think. He was either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much with that swing. Back to the top of the lineup. Now batting Wander Franco. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bounce to the right, and it goes just foul. Here we go, guys. The pitch. In one the ball, dirt, and yeah, that's ball one. And that's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Lau at the plate. On the ground, right side. Arroyo steps on the bag, and that'll do it. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Rays six and the Red Sox three. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.